Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing the full face of liquid lipsticks. I feel like this is going to be the biggest fail ever. I've seen so many people do these challenges and they actually look, actually look amazing and I feel like I'm just going to completely flop it. But we're just going to try and see what happens. So the rule is you can only use liquid lipsticks. And let me just start by telling you. I pretty much only have pinks, oranges, and reds. I have literally like two skin tone shades, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's just dive into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Sand. This is my favorite liquid lipstick ever, so I'm hoping by the end of this video, I'm still gonna have a bit left in here. I mean, this is gonna be the foundation, so I'm just gonna slap it on my face. We've gotta work quickly because it is a liquid lipstick okay wow gorgeous match okay let's blend it <gasps> oh my god well let me start by saying this has zero coverage quite disappointed in this I'm kidding this is literally the best brand for liquid lipsticks I love them so much gorgeous I feel like this is gonna be so hard to take off when I'm done I'm literally like diving straight in the shower after this video. I don't want any breakouts tomorrow. <laughs> There's hardly any left in here. Ah. Ah. It blends out pretty good for a liquid lipstick. Not gonna lie, but this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Trust me. Let's just put some eye primer on. That actually covered my veins pretty well. Might use this on the daily. If you ever run out of foundation, just grab a liquid lipstick. Why not? Okay, I look half bald, so I'm just gonna take my hair out so I kind of look like a human again. Now it's time for blush, honey bear. So I'm taking the Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Bel Air. This is a really nice nudie pink shade. So I'm just gonna put a dot on my cheeks and go from there. These are really pigmented, so I'm not gonna put too much on. I'm gonna use the same brush because I do not wanna ruin all of my brushes, only one. Wow, that didn't really work. Okay, a bit more then. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done, not gonna lie. Oh, that was a lot. My face is already pink. I don't know why I'm adding more pink. Bindi, say hello. I love that how like every time I bring her in a video, she's like, and the light's too bright for you, baby. The next product I'm taking is from the Kylie Cosmetics range. It's in the shade Hair. So I'm just gonna put this straight on an eyeshadow brush and just pack this on the top of my cheekbones as a highlighter. I love a really intense highlighter like any time of the day, so I'm just really gonna go crazy with this one. It still has a glow to it, so I'm happy, but in everyday makeup wear, I like to be shimmery and glittery and just over the top, you know? I'm putting like 500 pumps of this on my brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose to highlight there and to make my nose look like I've been sunburnt. I'm gonna try and keep it basic on the eyes. So I'm gonna take the shade King K, the same one as we used before. So a nice shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. <laughs> and then we're gonna blend it out. This is a really nice like gold shimmery color. This could actually work as an eyeshadow. Well, if, I mean the color could work as an eyeshadow, not the formula. So I'm just gonna blend upwards really lightly. Um, I think it's already dry, so it's not really blending. Oh well. Oh no, this is getting messy, guys. This is getting real messy real quick. Now with the shade Rain, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. Um, I just want a little pop of color, you know. This is like a really nice dark maroon color. I'm just going to put it directly on my brush and put it as close as I can to my lash line. Oh my god, this could be dangerous for the eyes. Oh god. I don't know if the lighting just got really bad or if my face has just looked this bad the whole entire time, but let's move on to the hardest part. I'm going to take some black liquid lipstick and make a liner, like a line, a wing liner. I can't even do this with normal liner, so I don't know why I'm even bothering to try this with liquid lipstick. I mean, here goes nothing. Let's just say... Didn't really work out. 
Let's look past all of my imperfections and move on to the lashes, shall we? So I'm just going to dip a spoolie into my black liquid lipstick and use this as mascara. It's kind of like they're getting tinted. I feel like that'd be so cool if I got my lashes tinted. I might look into it. This is like a little test run. Because I don't have any brown products, that's why I can't contour. I'm just going to use whatever's left on the spoolie and run this through my brows. Just to add a little bit of colour, because we can never leave the brows out, really. I mean, come on. That'd be a disaster. I'm going to take the shade Bel Air by Ofra again, and this is what I'm using on my lips. This is literally going to be the only thing that's going to look normal on my whole face. Would it be bad if I just cheated a little bit and added a pair of falsies? I feel like it'll just bring the whole look together, and it'll hide this ugly looking wing over here. I'll be back. Now just going in and adding a bit of my highlighter that I put right here on my inner corners because I love a good glow and it's not really giving the effect that I'd hope. It just looks like I've put a bit of pink shit in my eye like I've got pink eye. God damn it. Last but not least, I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation, dose of colors and sand again, and I'm just going to put this on the on my lips because I don't really like pink on my lips. I like more of a nudie pink. So this is what I usually do when I use it like a normal person. I just put it right over the top and then I just blend it out. And it kind of just makes whatever color you put down first a lighter version. I love it. Times like these, I really wish I had a lip liner because it looks like I have a serious case of Pash Rash all around my mouth. Cause it's like smudging everywhere. But guys, I think this is the best we're going to get. <laughs> so there we have the finished makeup look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was nothing serious. Don't take this video seriously. Just a little bit of fun and mucking around. Honestly, I probably should have gone and bought some brown colored liquid lipsticks before I did this video because I literally just look like a tomato. Like someone could just come up to me and take a big chunk out of my head and it wouldn't even hurt because I'm edible. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye!